right, supplements for taming inflammation. I'll be reading off of my notes. I'm gonna uh, share some supplements that you may want to uh, use to help tame some inflammation. Before I dive into the video, I'm gonna show you quickly my outfit. It's just this really cute top. Flip flops, because I'm still in summer, although we're in September, so it's technically fall. The thing we're gonna dive in is with the autoimmune system, there is always a vigilance. Our bodies have a law, and the law is to eat well. When you break the law, in other words, you give it what it doesn't want, your body is going to feel insulted. When it feels insulted, your body is going to have an immune response uh, to deal with the insult that you just gave it. Now you may be wondering, how does this manifest itself? In a healthy person, there needs to be a baseline vigilance. There are too many stimulants, too, many too much sugar, too much salt, too much processed food, your body is in information overload because you are feeding it the exact thing that it doesn't want. When your body is already inflamed as a result of an injury, a virus, or what have you, on top of the fact that you are feeding it foods that are gonna to contribute to inflammation, you are essentially asking for what's called a cytokine storm in general. But essentially what's happening is your body is literally at battle very important to practice what's called something that's not very attractive to a lot of people, which is prevention. The way you practice prevention is by eating well, consistently over time. <laughs> so you want to make it in a low inflammation state. That's number one. And you do that by eating well. That's number two. Drinking enough water. That's number three. Getting enough sleep. Number four. And of course, reducing your stress by subscribing to my YouTube channel. <laughs> so, how do you deal with inflammation? Uh, there are some tools that you can use to deal with inflammation. The first one I talked about in a video about fish oil. So I use pure fish oil. I take a shot of fish oil about every day or so, every other day. Uh, I use cod liver oil or pure fish oil. Uh, really helps with your cells. Your, we're all made of a ton of cells and our cells have a fatty membrane around the cell. This fatty membrane can be affected by the types of fats that we eat. So if you're eating not very good fats, you're essentially feeding that fatty membrane, uh, so to speak, technically. You eat quality fats so that your cells are at a quality state so that your cells are healthy. The healthier cells are, the better off you are. Now, I made a YouTube video talking about Mary Jane, in other words, marijuana, and I just and I, and I will be making a video part two, the science behind it and how it may affect your cells on the cellular level, because it has to do with the fatty membrane once again of your cells, uh, specifically your neurons. But that's a different topic for a different day. A good fish oil. I have the link of the one that I use down below. I use it again every other day, and I also give it to my 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 dog. EPA in the fish oil converts into anti-inflammatory chemicals called specialized pro-resolving mediators. Uh, I don't typically like pill formula because I find that um, it's just not as bioavailable. Although that is just my personal opinion. You can get is. Um, a supplement called Wolf, Wolf Enzyme M. It's a combination of uh, formula. You can get it, I'll have the link below. Uh, some people use it before they go like do a lifting competition to ease any pain that they might feel after the lifting competition. If you're into like sports, like football or wrestling, wrestling, um, you can uh, use this product. It's a proteolytic enzyme. You just take it before your competition or before your um dangerous event i should say and uh it's apparently really useful for preventing uh delayed onset extreme muscle soreness aka fatigue aka possible injury uh so if you're into like snowboarding or skiing or skateboarding or hockey or football or powerlifting or you know some sort of fitness crossfit competition and you are exposed to a lot of stress and you want to minimize the stress or minimize pain after the event, you can take a wolf enzyme supplement. Okay. Typically you want to take it 45 minutes before 
food or after to not interfere with digestion. Okay, Another amazing thing that you can try or spirulina. So spirulina is a supplement. I get spirulina in powder form. I put it in my protein shake every now and then. Um, it doesn't taste very good, but it, it does help with your immune system. You can also get lots of ginger, ginger, garlic. Uh, some people are not good with their garlic because the uh, compound allicin, I believe, in garlic. But um, ginger is phenomenal for reducing inflammation, helps with joints, helps with your, um, your system overall. Get NAC. Uh, I will have a picture of the screen of the NAC right to the one that I personally use. Helps with the nervous system. It may help with reducing inflammation. Uh, but it's something worth trying. I like NAC a lot. I use it fairly often as well as magnesium. But thank you for watching today's video. Please like the video for more information. Click below, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment if this helped you. If you have any more tips, if you have experience with the reducing inflammation, you can leave a comment down below to help other people uh, get over that hump. Um, and I will see you in the next video.